Hey guys, um, thank you guys for answering the poll. We are going to talk about all of the uh, questions that are going to be on this quiz uh, for this coming week. So it won't be today, it'll actually be this Thursday that I will have uh, the quiz posted online for you to be able to answer the questions. So these are all of the answers. We're just gonna talk through each one of them uh, so that we really understand them as well as possible. So the first, the first question is circle the quarter note. Now, I have been discovering that a lot of people think this is a quarter note. This is not a quarter note. This note right here gets four beats. This note gets two beats because it is called a half note. And this note gets one beat because it is called a quarter note. So the way I like to look at it is this is, this is half of this note, and this is the whole amount of notes, so four beats, one, two, three, four, which is usually the amount that we have in like a measure. So a whole note is the whole amount, four beats. This is half of four beats, which is two, and this is a fourth of two of four beats, which is one. If you divide four by four, you get one. So it just gives you a bit of a math lesson also in this. <laughs> so always remember that this one though gets one beat and that is called a quarter note. Now, the next one is there are hum or there are what kinds of beats? There are strong and weak, weak beats. There are strong and weak beats, note and rest beats, or blue and yellow beats. In this case, there are there is no such thing as a note beat. You, you can't have a note that's a beat in particular. Sometimes they're put together for music, but there is no such thing as a note beat. Uh, there would be a rest beat that you could have, but the note beat negates that question. So the answer is strong and weak beats. And if you remember on those videos uh, that we were watching, you have the strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, weak. And that's the way they work every time. It's one, two, three, four, strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, weak. Uh, the next one, the next question is what is beat? Um, and the answers are, um, oh, along with that, the strong beat is usually on what beat? Well, if you look at it and you think strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, 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 that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The strong beat is always on one. I have a lot of students that want to say that the strong beat is on three or is on two. Um, and I'm not quite sure where they're getting that from. I think they think maybe it's a trick question. Um, it is not a trick question. This is a very, very easy question. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's always on one, especially at this level when we're just learning music. What is beat? Um, the beat is the heartbeat of music. Uh, the answers here are the heartbeat of music, a small purple vegetable, or the notes in the music. A lot of students are being tripped up on this one because they wanna say it's the notes in the music. Once again, Note and beat have nothing to do with one another. So if you see the word note and it's in a question about beat, it's never that answer. Note has nothing to do with beat for our purposes right now. So the heartbeat of music is the answer. And that's also uh, what we learned on those quaver lessons. I know not everybody has gotten to do the quaver lessons in the same way. Um, so that's why I'm teaching right now to, <laughs> to, give, to give that option um, and be able to understand a little bit better. So um, remember 
that beat is the heartbeat of music. If beat goes faster, one. Like, let's say I start running really, really, really fast. My heartbeat goes a lot faster. But if I like lay down and I settle down, lay down on the beach and have fun, and I'm quiet, that means my heartbeat will go slower. And when my heartbeat goes faster or slower, it pumps the blood in my veins faster and slower. It also makes me breathe faster or slower. And so, in the same way, if the beat goes faster, then the music also goes faster. And if the beat goes slower, then the music also goes slower. A meter of two is a marching meter. Um, the way I remember this is anytime you hear a, a marching beat, it sounds like you might want to march if it's a two, two by four. Usually it's, or two, four. Um, usually it's a da 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 that's that's a march and it sounds like you would want to march to it usually um, when you hear a two four song um, so instead it's not a skipping meter and it's not a walking meter it's a marching meter it sounds like a marching band usually there's a lot of symbols going on that will help you to remember what we need to do with that and what what a two four is it is a marching meter. A waltz, on the other hand, I'll show you just a quick clip of a waltz here. Um, a waltz has a three, four meter, and it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you can always hear that like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three in the background of a waltz. You have to think of a waltz as a three, four. It is almost always a three, four uh, for the feel of a waltz. And the last one for us is an ostinato is a short repeated pattern. An ostinato is a short repeated pattern. An ostinato is a short repeated pattern. That's just the way it works every time. If you have any particular questions for me, you can always send me an email. Or if your parents or guardians um, are confused at all, please don't hesitate to give me an email or send me a call and uh, I'll talk to you about this later. Uh, we are using the best score of either one of these quizzes. So we already took our pre-quiz, which was just kind of to give me an idea of who all is being involved right now online. But if you do this other quiz here, um, this uh, we will accept whichever quiz has the highest grade on it. So thank you guys very much, and I'll see you later. Bye.